Syncope is a transient loss of consciousness, typically due to cerebral hypoperfusion. Multiple conditions can lead to syncope, including pulmonary embolism. But the frequency of pulmonary embolism in patients with syncope is unclear. In a prospective study in 11 hospitals in Italy from March 2012 to October 2014, investigators assessed all patients older than 18 years who were admitted for an evaluation of a first episode of syncope. All patients had a chest x-ray, an electrocardiogram, arterial blood gas measurement, and routine blood testing, including D-dimer. Regardless of whether they were thought to have another potential explanation for syncope, all of the patients underwent a systematic evaluation for pulmonary embolism with a validated algorithm based on the pretest clinical probability and the D-dimer result. Pulmonary embolism was excluded without further testing in patients whose pretest clinical probability was low and whose D-dimer results were negative. In patients with high clinical probability, positive D-dimer results, or both, CT pulmonary angiography or ventilation perfusion lung scanning was performed. The study included a total of 560 patients with median age of 80. Pulmonary embolism was excluded in about 60% of them because they had a low clinical pretest probability and a negative D-dimer result. Of the remaining 230 patients, 135, or 58.7%, had a positive D-dimer test, 3 or 1.3 percent had a high pretest clinical probability, and 92 or 40 percent had both. 97 of these 230 patients, or 42.2 percent, were diagnosed with pulmonary embolism on imaging or at autopsy. Thus, nearly one of every six patients hospitalized for a first episode of syncope, 17 percent, had pulmonary embolism. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.